Hi, this is Kathy Stevens with Now is the Time. I'm here with Pat Cotson and Brian Newcomb for the American Foundation of Suicide Prevention. And thanks you guys for joining me today. Um, in one of our other segments, we talked about the money that was raised in the Midshore Out of the Darkness Walk, more than $35,000. Yes. Pat, can you tell us a little bit how that's benefiting our region? Well, so far what we have done is, um, I was trained as a facilitator for a support group, so I started a um, support group for people who have lost a loved one to suicide. And I am working with Rhonda Knotts at Compass Regional Hospice. She's my co-facilitator for that. And then we also did a Survivor Day event, November 22nd. Mm -hmm. And um, that was open to all of the community, all of the five mature counties, and that was at Chesapeake College. And so the funds we raised supported both of those, and then we're under discussion now about um, bringing some training to the schools and um, possibly working with Washington College and Chesapeake College to bring some programs there. So we've got a lot of things we can do. What is it that a lot of people that you've noticed, because you've been working uh, with people lately and quite frankly for a while, what is the most difficult aspect that you see of trying to get through this, uh, the deal with this loss and this type of loss? Probably the most difficult is the stigma attached. So many people don't know what to say when you've lost someone to suicide. And it's, um, it, it's difficult because they aren't sure whether they should talk about it. They aren't sure whether they should say anything um, about it. So it, it's hard and right. it's the stigma. I think sometimes too it's okay to say nothing. And, well, and it's okay to say, I don't know what to say. And that's exactly what my advice has been to people. Just say, I don't know what to say. Right. And not ask about the details. Right. Because those are very, that's, it's very and personal. most people don't want to share those. And um, the other thing, too, is I know that you guys, that you're working on an upcoming Out of the Darkness walk. Can you tell me when that's going to be and what people need to do to get involved? It's going to be October 3rd. Um, we'll be at the Chesapeake Exploration Center in Kent Narrows, and um, we're looking for walkers, we're looking for volunteers, sponsors, and um, people are forming teams now. So, Excellent. Uh, it's not too soon to register, and they can go to um, www.afsp.org and click on um, Community Walks, and, and ours will come up as one of the Maryland Walks. Great. Or they can call me. We got you. you. I don't know if you want to put that out there, but. <laughs> it's on the website. It's, it's all over the place. It's on the website. So certainly anybody who's interested in getting involved in coming to one of the suicide uh, survivor groups or getting involved in any way, certainly give Pat a call. She's uh, very knowledgeable. And Ryan, could you give us that number for the su National Suicide Prevention Line again? Yeah, if you ever feel your loved one is in crisis or in need of help, um, or just have a question, it doesn't have to be, or con it can just be a concern. You don't have to be right. in full crisis to call the number. Um, you can call this just to consult. But um, it's 1-800-273-TALK. That's 1-800-273-8255. It's 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's nationwide, and, and usually it will d direct to the local crisis line if there is right. one. Great. Thank you both so much for being here. You've been watching Now is the Time. Join us again. Thank you.